Hello guys, this is Mr. Arts Cosplay and Art and welcome back again to another fun video and today what we're going to talk about is Samurai's Leafeon Breakdown. So let's get to it! Alright, so let's talk about the materials. So what I used for this cosplay is a lot of fabric, of course, um, beading, sea beads, uh, moss, EVA foam, warbler. <laughs> I had to look at the costume to see what I use because it's a lot of details. Um, foam clay, a wig, and also use a PVC pipe for the spear. Give me the shoe, I need a shoe. And wood. Hold on a second guys, and the wood. For, yeah, so this is actually, I can walk on them. So this is actually wood. Ouch. But yes, so let's talk about the head. So what I use for this one here is actually for um, the base. The base I use warbler. Just a lot of pieces of warbler that I have left over. So I use that as a base, put them together with the heat gun. And then once I have shaped it off to onto my head because I don't have a specific um, head mannequin that has to do with my side. So I actually had to kind of carefully like lay down my face with a, like, kind of a, a towel on, on me. And then for the sculpting wise is foam clay, this is EVA foam, and then pretty much do like the soldering for, for the fur. And of course I got the swirl design here that Leafeon has for some reason. It's a question mark um, or that he has. And then moss and then I've added of course like real rock from the backyard. And then of course I have like added all this little dangle thingies. I had to play around with this. Dangle thingies, earrings. I made earrings. Actually I made accessories for this one. More accessories than Samurai Glaceon. So I added like earrings and then uh, added more details to the necklace. And then for the wig, I need to take off the wig so you guys can see it. And then for the wig, I have braided, hand sewed the moss into the wig. And then I pretty much kind of hand sewed the acorn. So it was pretty much a uh, very tricky to hand, like to hand sew the pine cones and the flowers because it has like, has like a hard material. So this is actually inspired, I was inspired by the movie Tangle Rapunzel when the villagers like braided her hair and then put a lot of junk into her hair. So with that, I have like an idea. I want to do the same thing with Leafeon. This is pretty much how I came out with that specific design for a little bit more simple and shorter. And also I forgot that the mask has LED lights and they're green. So let's talk about the kimono. So for this kimono, the fabric is from Gaia Hans and it was a perfect fit for this theme. And I have bought gold trimming, kind of a flower design into the trim. So it's a mix of sewing and hand sewing. And then I use more trimming around the sleeves as well too. And then we have the little tiny shoulder pads or you, I can call it epaulets with a little bit of like a, like a nature design onto them. For this one, we're going to talk the bottom. So to the bottom, you can see more hand sewing. So I just bought like random kind of green and yellow beads around this area here. And then for the moss, I actually hand sewn the moss. Actually, I glued them first and then I hand sewed the moss just to keep it secure into the belt. And then I have hand sewn and glue, of course, yet again, more moss the pine cones, flowers, and then real rocks. I actually use real rocks for this one. And then trimming. And then for my favorite part, which is the leaf. So for the leaf, I just wanted to make it more realistic. So I added more like shadowing and then dew. So for the dew, I have actually used hot glue. That's right, you can use hot glue to create dew. So for the pants, they're called um, the Japanese pants um, Hakama. So I pretty much stay true to like the samurai design as possible for this one specifically. And then I've added, of course, to make a more fantasy like this. So this concept is pretty much like a more fantasy like. So I just added this and it's the same thing I done with the belt. So slap the moss there, just glue it there first and then I hand sew it. This is pretty much all hand sewed because I want to make it, you know, just glue it more. So it's, this is like pretty much hand sewed and the bottom too is hand sew as well too because like the machine won't won't take the moss because it will get stuck into like the needle and you don't want that so hand sew is the best way to go all right so now we're going to talk about getas which is 
well known as Japanese shoes. So for this one, I use real wood, half an inch wood for it, and pretty much did all like the sanding or like the hand sanding down the edges, crazy stuff around it. And then at the bottom, I used these weird looking dowels, sort of circular dowels, dowels for this one, just to have like a little bit more creative, more unique. And then I've added soles onto the bottom of the shoes to protect the heels from walking around. And then at the bottom here, you will see like I have just super glued these ropes, like the ropes onto the bottom shoe just to make it more secure since I'm going to be actually walking around. And these are very comfortable to walk around with, believe it or not. So at the bottom pretty much did epoxy. It's a mix of epoxy and hot glue. And then added felt, just pieces of felt just to make it more cleaner. And then to like for the top part of it, I didn't use varnish, I skipped the varnish because number one, that's not good for your feet. I'm not using socks, so it's not good for your feet and you don't want those chemicals to, like, you don't want to have those chemicals onto your skin because it's not even good for you, not healthy, so I just like want to do it more natural because back then, they didn't know what was varnish. So here I am just, just doing as natural as possible and plus it will look, you know, just more realistic. Just having me like making more like a decent cleaner shoe. So yeah. Now for the leg armor. So this is AVA foam, of course. Wood grain with the, the soldering tool. And I have glued like all the small accessories for this one here. And then if you guys are wondering what kind of like the shiny paint it is. This is Mud Pudge um, gloss, like very high gloss to give it that that clean shine to it and the same thing i forgot to mention for the leaves because if you have noticed about the leaves they have kind of a gloss like feel to it real leaf so i just wanted to keep that true and with that with the mud podge gloss it will give me that extra um popping out um details so yeah oh yeah i'm just gonna keep down i'm just gonna keep here just chilling out on the ground and i'm just gonna explain to you <laughs> the bracer so for the bracer, uh, it's the same skills, like the same thing, like the soldering, the mud patch and stuff like that. And it's the same concept with the leaves as well too. So you will have more dew with hot glue. Give me a second. I just forgot it has magnets here. So, <laughs> so for this one, so it has a bracer made of EVA foam. <laughs> EVA foam. And then to make a cleaner look, felt black felt and then it has no like velcro so i can easily put my hand in there and it actually fits i can like move around do this and that which is perfect and let's put it back here again velcro for this one as well yeah this is just pieces of leftover um, leather that i have and of course more trimming to make a more cleaner look for the straps but yeah, so this is pretty much like the same thing I did for the leaves. So here's the bracer. Thank you, Arm. Alright, so now for the spear. But it's also called Yari in Japanese. And what I basically what I did here, um, what I use is PVC pipe, warble pieces. You can see this is very like very I had to cut them patterns for these just to make it very decent and perfect. And then it's collapsible too, so we have two pieces of the PVC pipe, and of course I have here like the like the coupling for I just covered like the coupling just to make it more cleaner work. And then at the bottom with more details, more of the decorative um, side of it, so I just have to like put it back just to safety traveling, and it's it's not heavy, it's weightless, very easy to handle, thank God. Uh, I was going to make a katana, but I wanted to make a spear for this one, for this project. So we'll have more, more moss, more flowers, more moss, more weeds, stuff like that. And then I will add like a fabric to it. And then this is actually like warbler. So a lot of sanding, dremelin to make it a little bit more cleaner. And then for, to make it like the surface more smoother just added like five like about about five or four layers of mud podge and then I airbrush it to 
to the to the blade here and then hand painting the gold and then glue I guess I just glue more more moss to it I'm like I want to put more moss to it just slap it in there and that's what I did there for this for the project but yeah so it looks really great though so here goes with the connection part again this is a piece of coupling or pipe nipple whatever is you know there's two names for this one so you just have to twist it it goes up pretty perfect so it's right right there you can't even see it but that's like the piece right that goes there that you connected it again and then it's pretty much it's pretty much gone that you can't even see you can't even notice like there's like a piece there so that's why I pretty much like put like a piece of all this craziness down here just to have just to hit it but yeah so this is like the spear but also is the yari and now we're going to talk about the tail another project another challenge because i actually had to attach this big whale it has weight to it but not it's not that heavy like attach this piece to a wooden base so the attachment i will have pictures of how the, the process and like the materials I use. So basically I use like uh, um, drills, I just drill holes, uh, put some rivet and yeah, I put like a, more, like a lot of things like around the bottom of the PVC pipe just to secure the tail and of course doesn't move around that much. And then for the strap around my waist, I have used a stronger fabric just to make it, just, just to secure it because I don't want to break either. So the type of fabric I use is kind of a leftover leather. And then for the tail, this is EVA foam, um, kind of like a half an inch EVA foam. Sandwich them together and then just do some, a lot of like Dremel, hand sewing, do it hand sewing. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> and that's pretty much it for this build. So it actually took me like around four months to complete from head to toe, including the shoes which it took me a while to make the shoes. To be honest, the shoes was more challenging than like the costume itself because you're making shoes at this point. Like the small details I like about this cosplay actually is the do. I'm simple. Like I like to do what I did down there to make it, you know, like the least more realistic looking. And then I added, of course, the little cannons into the little leaves. It has caterpillars, uh, which is like the caterpillars from Pokemon. It is um, Weebly, Weedle. Damn. We don't. <laughs> we don't. And Carpi. What? Carpi. Who's that Pokemon? It's Carpi. What? Carp. Can't even Caterpie. say it. Caterpie. Excuse me for my accent. Caterpie and Weedle. <laughs> But yeah, so here is the build and it's finally done and all the small details. I really love this cosplay. Um, I have an Instagram and I actually have TikTok guys. So I have more, more videos coming out too. So I have posted like a lot of like progress pictures if you guys want to check that out. And yeah, and that's a wrap guys. Thank you so much for watching this video yet again and also don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell for future videos so thank you so much for watching so adios